Alright, um, I measured the, the first brick riser that I made there earlier and uh, from corner to corner to see if my barrel would fit over top of it and it would not. It was too big and it was a square. So this is the only configuration that I could come up with which is the same configuration as the riser on the batch box that I'm building. Um, it's four and a half by six and a half, I think, or something like that, or seven and a half. So, yeah, it's not perfect or seamless where it meets the uh, where it meets the cast core down there. It's not perfect down there because it's going from round to a rectangle, but. Anyway, <clears throat> that's the only configuration where my uh, where my Bell heat exchanger will fit over top. This is uh, this turns out to be 18 inches tall, or yeah, this turns out to be 18 inches tall because we got uh, two bricks tall, nine and nine, and. This here is the this is the heat exchanger bell that I made for for that stove for that cast core unit, and it's uh, from the core. Excuse my shakiness here. From the core to the cook plate is 21 inches. From the core to the cook plate. So, the difference between 18 and 21 is 3 inches. So I'm going to have a 3 inch gap between the, my cook plate and the top of the riser. That's where my cook plate is going to be, 3 inches up. If I do it like this. And I think uh, since it's going to fit, since my barrel is going to fit, or my bell heat exchanger, I might as well try it. So, uh, I was talking earlier about that uh, riser I made out of um, clay and perlite, and I did not like it at all. So, I think this is going to be the way to go for, for a unit like this. Anyway, I'm going uh, to try it. I put some wire around them this time because all the gaps. I'm just doing dry dry fits for now until uh, until I'm done like the research and development until I'm done testing it all out. <clears throat> I'm just gonna wire them together for now, and that eliminates a lot of the gaps. Remember the gaps? Oh, I might be able to work on that. Yeah, that's a lot better with the wires wrapped around them. Anyway, I'm gonna put the bell, I'm gonna put the bell heat exchanger on it, and I might try it for something to do. Wonder, I might put a burn grate under the under there too. I might put a burn grate where the wood sits. Get get the wood up off the up off the floor a little bit yeah so I'll probably make uh, another video if I do the if I test it today with the with the bell on it and everything I might do a, another video of that with my temperature gun get maybe get some temperature readings I'm guessing it's going to take a few minutes to heat up this uh, riser. <clears throat> anyway, have a good day, and check out the next one.